Subhu, hi. Hey. Yeah. I know that you have 14 plus years of experience in the industry, okay. and I know that you have worked with some big names in the industry as well. Okay. So I have a question that only a person like you can answer. Oh. Okay. Please tell me. Yeah. So I just graduated out of mechanical engineering, right? Okay. And I need to understand what my role is, what my position is in the industry. Oh. Okay. How do I do that? Okay. Uh, this is not uh, such a simple question. It might sound very simple, but the answer might be very detailed or complicated. Say, for example, mechanical engineering is a very vast industry. Mechanical engineering is a very vast industry. This has everybody integrated to it. For example, if you are talking about automobile engineering, it has automobile. Manufacturing engineering, yes, it is. Production engineering, yes, it is. Aeronautical, electrical, name a field which is doing something with respect to production, design and validating, it comes under mechanical engineering field. Be it whatever component you produce or you validate or you design, that comes under mechanical engineering field. So that is where the concept is. See, you being a mechanical engineer or a fresher, you will have a wide opening or a wide opportunity in three different areas. First thing is, are you a person who is interested in designing something or creating something new you can get into a design field are you a person who wants to produce those things you can get into manufacturing or production kind of industry are you a person who wants to validate those components you can get into validating industry or testing industries see the reason for me to tell these three divisions is these three divisions are available irrespective of any market automobile you will have to design a car Validate a car and then produce a car. All three comes into aeronautical industry. Again, you will have to design a plane, for example, validate and manufacture. Let us go to a step down. Uh, are you? Are we talking about a motor, an electrical component or an electronic component? Are we talking about a motor? Yes, you will have to design a motor first. Okay, how many windings does it need for me to develop this many uh, wattage of output? This is a design. It is not like, uh, it is not some theory where you directly take the information and you implement. You will have to do something on it. You will have to research something and then identify. So whatever component it is, it might be an electrical component, it might be an electronic, it might be a hardware, it might be an automobile related component. You still have these three phases introduced to you. Meaning, if you are a fresher in a mechanical engineering field, it is wiser or I ultimately you land in one of these three spaces so you can keep your eye you can you can keep your view on a kind of bird's eye perspective and see where am I interested in am I interested in producing these components or am I interested in designing these components or am I interested in validating these components ideally looking at the market scenario creating that is designing these components needs a lot of manpower and that is where we need more people to do because it is so many people working on one particular design. When it comes to production or manufacturing, comparatively, comparatively the number is less. And similarly, when you validate a component, it is comparatively lesser there also. And that is where, uh, if you are a mechanical engineer, you can choose to become either a design engineer or a production engineer or a validation engineer. So this is a very brief answer and this design engineer or production engineer or validation engineer is not restricted to only automotive or only aeronautical or only a particular domain no whichever industry you get into you will have these three phases you will have to design a component produce that component and validate that component so as a mechanical engineer you have this wide scope out of these three divisions if you are particular about one segment say for example design or production or validation you will still have a lot more to know inside that design doesn't just mean you will have to draw something on 2d or developing something on 3d it is about the engineering aspects and the functionality of those components production doesn't mean about sending in the part via one tool and getting the part outside how do you develop that tool how do you develop that tool what considerations you should have when you are producing that particular component? What temperature does it work on? What pressure should you give? What material do you choose? 
and again when it comes to validation it is about uh, not only understanding the functionality of the component it is also about how production feasible that component is how production feasible that design is so inside each divisions there are quite a lot of branches one can choose from but ideally first step should be to choose one among these three branches and if you had chosen that if you are convinced with your answer then you can choose a lot more varieties inside every sub component or inside every sub categories hope this gave a little idea about what to do after a mechanical engineering field but i'm not telling you this because i am a mechanical engineer but the real fact in this world is if you are a mechanical engineer you have a wide range of opportunities available for you to work on good luck everyone